Hello everyone, my name is Jesse. Welcome to the auditorium. I've been a musician for the past 17 years, a long time, and now I'm doing reactions to video game music on top of covers of video game songs, so a lot of EGM stuff here. Today is a big day, because I didn't tell when I was going to do this, but I'm listening to kind of two renditions of the same song. So for those that don't know, I've never played Final Fantasy ever of any kind, and 14 has been kind of popular on this channel. And there's one thing that confuses me a lot about the songs, is that there's so many phases and it gets kind of confusing, but people always kept requesting Ultima, which I've been told that it's part of the weapons refrain, or the minstrel ballad, or ultimate, it's just, it's a mess. So instead, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna combine them all. So a lot of people have requested Ultima specifically, but I also have a special request from Snoob that is, I guess, the entire phase. So I'm going to listen to this, which is pretty long, and then I'm going to check out an or orchestral version of Ultima. So two for one? Cool. Awesome. So thanks to Snoob Jack, P. Vlatius, Kai De Lucinda, MDS, and Matthew H. for the request. A lot of people, I told you. So this is... The weapons refrain? Either way, it's the whole segment. Whatever. Ultima. Here we go. Final Fantasy XIV. I've heard this. I'm pretty sure I've heard this before. Which one is this? Garuda? If I'm reading the description correctly, this one's Garuda, which I've heard. I think. Oh well, we're hearing it again. I haven't heard it since... three months ago? Let's just enjoy. I'm over here trying to remember it, but I'd rather, I'd rather just... It's like I'm hearing it again for the first time. You know, after hearing over 100 songs, they start kind of blending together, and I, I forget which one's which, but I do remember that guitar line. Either way. This is... Garuda. Kind of nostalgic because this, this is like one of my first like five requests I think. Yeah. Okay, I remember that. Or maybe it's a light motif. The one downside to not playing FF is I don't know if it's a remix or. I'm just enjoying the ride right now. Don't mind me. I'm not going to take any notes either, I'm just going to vibe. I do remember the drums being very wild. Like, if you pay attention to the cymbals, they're very raw. Big, lively drum set. I don't remember this. Oh. Oh, it's climbing. Did this switch already? It's about to switch. Let's see if I can catch it when it switches. Damn, lava? Oh! <laughs> the scenery helped me, but that's the change right there. Okay, this is new. What is this? 
Ifrit. These Final Fantasy fans are getting a bunch of songs all at once right now. Ooh. <laughs> Very Black Sabbath. If you guys don't know who Black Sabbath is, please go listen to the Paranoid album. Very reminiscent of this right here. Kind of like groovy blues metal. Oh my god, I can just hear Ozzy's vocals over this. So the guitarist right there, he was palm muting and then he released it. When you have your palm covering the strings, it has a very chunky muted sound. And then he lifted it. And that's a bass. Yeah. Feedback. God, there's so many things to... A lot of feedback. Oh man. You know who also riffs like this? Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine and Audio Slave. Big chunky. I'm honestly not even paying attention to the lead guitar too much. I'm just listening to the rhythm. But the lead is cool too. Okay. So far, this is some of the fastest tempo in 14 that I've heard so far. Da, 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 da. It usually doesn't go this fast. Octaves. It switched. It did switch. Titan. Okay, this is really cool. Like, <laughs> this is like a big mix. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see. The, the boss is changing. I feel like I've heard this. The toms? This is a party. <laughs> Everybody have a seat, grab a drink. Ooh, this boss looks like an ass. <laughs> I like that big white ponytail he's got going on. This sounds familiar. Let me know at any point if I have heard these. Cause I don't know. You guys know more than I do, trust me. There's people that are like, dude, I've seen all your videos. I'm like, what? So people out there definitely know my content <laughs> better than I do. Oh. 
bit. Bit. I just call it, this is called bit. Whew, ooh, what a ride. Shit's getting serious now, isn't it? I feel like the comments right now would be like, he doesn't know what's happening right now. When does Ultima start? Oh, it starts now. Oh, this is now Ultima. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Look at the drop. Yo, he's pissed. What happened to all the rock music? Is that a boss fighting a... What's happening right now? Did he just... <laughs> okay, so don't mess with Ultima. Oh, he's infusing him? Do my eyes deceive... Oh, dude. Flame wings? So I get to hear this with an orchestra next? I'm guessing this is Soken? This boss just looks hard as hell. Please tell me I'm right. Triumphant. Whoa. Ooh, that horn section. The snare, though. triangle what is going on <laughs> every time I grasp something it just I think it's looped already, but I don't care. For sure this boss is hard. <laughs> I 
You guys are great. <laughs> Thank you for sharing this with me. Sorry, I'm just so captivated right now. I forgot I was doing a video. He's like a centaur dragon. Knight. What a mix. Very fitting for, uh... I'm guessing the final phase. Can't even sit still. Girl just destroyed that uh, gigantic dragon. Damn, they're they're flexing on the victory. This has to be towards the end of the game, right? If it's this much of a big deal. Well, the name like Ultima. Bongos very faintly every now and then. It's about to end right now. Okay. Well, the video's not over because boop. Final Fantasy XIV Orchestral Album Ultima. So I guess this is the what we just heard, but orchestral. So, next. <sighs> okay, yeah. This is, this is the sauce right here. December 20th, oh damn, that's almost exactly right now. Whoa. I'm 
I'm gonna assume this plays behind them live. There's like a probably a big screen behind them. Okay. We're entering my territory now. This is beautiful, man. Hauntingly beautiful. Weakness? I hear weakness. Show me that tuba. I hear it. I hear the French horn, I hear the tuba. The xylophone. I was wondering what that was. This sounds like the exact same arrangement for the game. That's a mixture. That's the... That was either the kalimba, the xylophone, and a violin accompanying it. There's so much going on. As if you couldn't tell already. What a marathon this has been. Bongos. Show me the bongos. Just imagine being there, man. You feel all that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Look how many people. I can feel it here. Imagine being in there. French horn. What a cacophony of sounds. Told you. Told you. Bongos. I was waiting for that. Now I just have to see the triangle and... And I'm... I got them all right. That little high frequency you hear? Drummer's killing it too. The snare. Tuba. He looks so stressed out <laughs> to not miss a single beat. Conductor's going in right now. What? No crowd reaction? Here, I'll give it to them. I'm not gonna lie, it would have been nice to hear that whole phase with, with, the, with the orchestra, but uh, man, okay, so 25 minutes later. I'm gonna be honest, I am blank. I am totally blank, I was just enjoying each segment that was coming towards me. I'm not kidding, I have nothing to say. It was just, just pure talent in every raw form of the word. Um, let's see what I can remember. Um, 
So the first song, I believe, was called Garuda from the first video, and I'm 99.7% positive that I heard that before. It was one of my first five requests ever on the channel. I didn't recognize it. The other ones I've never heard, but they were pretty cool. I believe Ifrit was pretty banging. Um, but one thing that I noticed was that the first three or four songs were like all rock. You know, it was just all like a driving, same key, just different songs. Um, you don't have to know what a key is, but basically it's like the, the overtone or undertone of the whole song. And that's why they blended together, because it was like the same key. And then out of nowhere, it just like dropped. And then it went to Ultima. And then it became, a you know, an orchestral masterpiece, which reminded me very much... The, sec the, the Ultima phase reminded me of... Uh, like Nobuo. That's why I was asking like who wrote this <laughs> because it had kind of his flavor on it but also it's hard to tell sometimes with Soken and Nobuo. It really is. But just from what I've heard thus far they're both geniuses. And I don't know how you guys choose. I mean no one should really choose. When it comes to music if you like it you like it. It doesn't matter who's better or who's worse. Like if they impact you they've done their job. But I, I can't choose. I just know that they're both extremely talented and to gather that many people together, and I guess we're talking about the Ultima part, to gather that many people playing the same thing on time, it's just it's just a crazy thing to witness, to hear, to feel. I mean, think of all these senses that are going on. You're feeling it, you're seeing it, you're hearing it. Shit, you might even be tasting it, who knows? But it's just, it's indescribable. Like you have to be at one of these events to truly understand it because it's great in the ears by itself, but seeing it, another thing, but then feeling it, you know, you have everything from each direction coming at you and it's just so powerful. The only way I can describe it, it sounds kind of corny, but going to one of these, it's one of the most like alive feelings you can ever feel. <laughs> like you feel very human being there. Like, oh, you know, I can experience all this and I'm very lucky that we're around the same time these guys are. So I see <laughs> where the where the requests came from. It's such a, it's just all over the place. Uh, you know, going from pretty much three rock songs to a orchestral, monster house is is quite the feat and this game just continues to impress me with the prowess of their musical abilities their ambitions their the chances they're willing to take it's crazy i i have i have not once taken for granted the, that i listen to final fantasy music as a job <laughs> because it just kind of blows my mind what's and I forgot that layer too. This isn't this in the game. So while you're enjoying the game and playing this looks pretty damn hard boss, you got that going on. So, you know, I, I've been told by a lot of people that sometimes they die on purpose just to keep hearing it. You know, how do you not to get distracted? Who knows? It's just, it's just, it's just a lot. I can't even, I said I had no words, but those are the only words I can come up with. So I loved it and quite a ride it kind of kind of um um not not as like wild as like dancing mad because dancing mad was just kind of like four distinct pieces uh but it's it's up there as far as uh <laughs> experimentation length and just big just big so that's my only thoughts i didn't write anything down um so a big thank you again to matthew h mds sky de lucinda p vladius and snoob jack I don't even know what to call it. I guess it's the weapons refrain. I don't know, but Ultima phase, awesome. You know, a lot of people ask me, and I still don't know this answer to this day. I'm gonna have to like do another Q and A, but people ask me, hey, what's your favorite like songs you've done? And as far as FF only, this is in the top 10. <laughs> you have to realize as a musician, even as a non-musician, but as a musician, I hold this stuff dear to me and 
it just blows my mind that this is in a media outlet that, although popular, gets brushed under the rug. I came up with this thing the other day while I was talking to my friend and, uh, you know, it was kind of one of like a phrase that I should coin because I thought it was like pretty genius. But if you think about it, VGM is the most, no, sorry, VGM is the biggest niche. It sounds weird, right? Kind of contradictory. But think about it. It's the biggest niche. Millions of people play this. Millions of people know Final Fantasy. And yet, it's still a niche. It's underappreciated. Isn't that crazy? It just, it just made me think of that. This is the embodiment of my saying now, I'm coining it, that VGM is the biggest niche. I should put that on a shirt. <laughs> but this is why. This is why right here. So, good job on sending this stuff to a musician because anyone you send this to, they're gonna like it. But if you send it to a musician, <laughs> it feels like I was in Toys R Us, just picking different things off of the wall. Anyway, half an hour later. <laughs> Thank you to all of you for the request. Thank you FF community for growing the channel. Thank you everyone who's watching. Um, it was a ride, it was a ride. And it's not gonna be the last time I hear this. No way. Um, you know, cause per usual, once I get into a song, I usually look up like covers and remixes of it. So it's just the start of my journey. So <clears throat> let me know what you think of this song, your experience with it. Did it blow your mind? Was it long? Was it, just let me know your experience with the Ultima phase. And um, that being said, if you want to get your request in, you could do so on Patreon. So I can decipher the hell out of the song for absolutely no reason, because I like to ramble. Or you could do PayPal, one time thing. You don't need to subscribe, that's cool too. On Patreon, you do get uh, early access perks. So just keep that in mind. And neither are necessary, but they will guarantee that I will check out your song eventually. So hopefully you have some, some patience, but I will get to it. And that is it, two and two dads. Big one today, one of my longest videos, but for good reason, two for one. So Ultima is ultimate. You like that? That was a good pun. Not really. Until next time, everyone, have a good night. Be easy. Happy holidays. Happy New Year, pretty much. Good way to start the new year. Take it easy.